Russia had a golden opportunity to open a new front in Ukraine, but missed it. Russia's offensive in the Kharkov region is gradually slowing down. The Russian army has lost a golden opportunity to open a new front in Ukraine. Business Insider writes about this. A month ago, the Russian Federation launched a new offensive in the Kharkov region. Then, Ukraine found itself in a particularly vulnerable place. However, after four weeks, Russian forces stalled. White House National Security Advisor John Kirby announced that the occupation offensive was almost over. In retrospect, what is striking is how little Russia actually achieved. Patrick Burry, a military analyst at Britain's University of Bath, told Business Insider, Moreover, the offensive led to strategic consequences, which forced the United States to allow Ukraine to hit targets on Russian territory with its weapons. If you rewind back a month, the situation for Ukraine looked grim. When Putin's troops crossed the border into the Kharkov region on May the 10th, the defenses were so weak that one soldier told the Air Force that they just walked in. Material says several villages quickly fell under the control of the enemy army and the Russians soon claimed that they had reached the strategic city of Volchansk, which is located on a key highway, but they did not advance further. Due to the intensification of the Russians, Ukraine had to transfer desperately needed units from near Chasovya to repel the attack, said Rob Lee, a senior fellow at the Foreign Policy Institute. At the same time, the Russians found themselves overloaded and unprotected. Nick Reynolds, a fellow at the Royal United Services Institute, told that if Russia had waited until it could get more trained units into the front line, its forces could have at least begun to encircle Kharkov and control key motorways. At the same time, the Institute for the Study of War said Putin may have rushed the offensive trying to get ahead of Western help and used insufficiently prepared forces in doing so. Recently, Putin announced that the goal of the Russian offensive is to create a buffer zone that will protect Belgorod from attacks from Ukraine. But in fact, it has achieved just the opposite. Experts say, Belgorod has long been vulnerable to cross-border attacks and during the spring, there was an increase in the number of drone and missile attacks that Russia blamed on Ukraine. But by gaining little cover for Belgorod, Putin opened up much more opportunities for Ukraine, the publication explains. This situation has helped deepen Western understanding of how dangerous the situation in Ukraine is becoming. In particular, US President Joe Biden quietly shifted one of the long-standing red lines. A bombed and wounded city, Sumy of Ukraine is preparing for another attack of Russia. Sumy is expecting new attacks from the Russian occupiers. Residents of the regional center fought back against Russian troops in 2022 and now they are being warned about another offensive. This is stated in the material of the New York Times. The publication recalls the events of 2022 when Sumy was subjected to crushing blows from the aggressor. Now, Ukrainian officials are increasingly warning that the city is the target of a new offensive by Russian troops massing along the border. The mood is very alarming. People read the news, people read telegram channels, and they cannot ignore the news about a possible attack on Sumy, says 38-year-old Captain Dmitry Lantushenko, spokesman for the 117th Territorial Defense Brigade stationed in Sumy. He notes that closer to the border, villages and towns are already being shelled daily and guided bombs, missiles and drones are hitting factories and power plants in the industrial region of Sumy. At the same time, the regional center, like most of Ukraine, lives in conditions of power outage. Momentum shifted in favor of Russian troops who invaded. Ukraine failed to get far in a counteroffensive in the summer of 2023 and was short of troops and ammunition as American support was delayed by hardliners in Congress. The media stated, Sumy and the region have been shelled more times in the first five months of 2024 than during all of last year, yet some villages on the Russian border still stand. There's also the simple matter of geography. Sumy Oblast borders Russia and, just like Kharkiv to the southeast, 
is in range of far more of Russia's weapons systems than cities such as Kyiv in more central areas that can only be hit by missiles and drones. In the summer of last year, after Ukrainian forces liberated Sumy Oblast following a short-lived Russian occupation, a five-kilometer exclusion zone along the border was established. This is now clearly inadequate to protect Ukrainians from indiscriminate Russian attacks.